hi guys i welcome you all back to my channel my name is aisha in today's video i'll be showing you how to cut and sew this shirt gown with friend sleeve thank you all for your support god bless you all if you are new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified stay tuned to the end of the tutorial See, I have my material here with me. I have four yards of Ankara and I have pieces of this net list. I will be using it as the yoke aspect of the shirt. So let's start. I'll fold my fabric into two. This is it. I'll be cutting the front aspect first. Now I'll be taking the length measurement. The length I'm using is 40 inches. I'll be adding two inches to my length, making 42 inches. So I'll be making use of 42 inches for the whole length. The main length is 40 inches, while the 2 inches is for the folding at the down aspect. So this 42. This is it. This is our starting point. So I'll be taking my shoulder. The shoulder I'm using is 16 inches. You divide your shoulder by 2, that will give us 8 inches. So I'll be coming down by 9 inch. This is 9. So here. I'll measure eight inches. So here yeah, I'll be taking my waist measurement. So I'm making use of 16 inches for the waist length, the waist length. And I'm making use of 25 and a half for the hip length. This is the hip length. So 25 and a half for the hip length. So now I'll come here. I'll be taking my circumference measurements. The bust I'm using is 43. So I'll come here. I'll take 43. You divide your bust by 4. So I divide my bust by 4. So this is 43. And I'll come to the waist. The waist I'm using is 41. So this is 41. So you divide your waist also by 4. So this is 41. And the hip I'm using is 44. You divide your hip also by 4. So this is 44. So we are cutting a free shirt down. So now I'll be adding my inseam allowance to it. So I'll come to the bust. So I'll have 2 inches. So this 2 inches to the bust. So same thing applies to the waist. This is the waist. And same thing applies to the hip. So this is it. The shirt that we are cutting is a free shirt gown. So at the waist here, I will add one inch to it because I want it to be free. So I will come to the hip also. I will add one inch to it. So from here, so I will be shaping it. So it's a free shirt gown. So you can see. So you shape it in form of A shape to be down aspect. So it's not something tight. So it's a free shirt. So yes, so this is it. I'll come to the arm hole length. So I'll be coming down by one for the shoulder slope. You come here, come down by one for the shoulder slope, and from here, so we we'll measure what we have here. So we have eight inches left. We divide that eight inches by two. So this is our midpoint, four inches. So four inches is our midpoint. So now to the neck. So now to the neck. So the neck I'm using, I'm making use of two and a half for the width and three inches for the depth. Two and a half for the width and three inches for the depth. So this three inches. So from there, I'll shape it. So this is the neck that I'm using. So from here, so I'll so I'll connect my shoulder slope. So this is it. So and at the at the arm length here. So 
here are this midpoint will be coming inward by one inch so this one inch so from there so we we'll shape our arm over connect our arm over so this is it so connect our arm over you can see so this is it you can see it. so that's all about it we are not adding that to it because it's a free shade gown so that's all about the front aspect so now i will be cutting it out see this is the front aspect i've laid it on the back aspect so now i'll be adding some inches to the back aspect for our shirt to be balanced so you come to the upper part here at the shoulder here so i'll come here you know this is the front aspect you can see this is the front aspect so at the front aspect here you can see this place this neck here you can see this is where our neck stop here so at the back aspect so i'll be going upward by one inch so you come here you measure one inch go upward by one inch at the shoulder you can see this is it you shape it to the upper part here so this is it so you can see so this is it so this is our back aspect you can see it so this is our back aspect so now at the arm over here, you know, we come upward by, so I'll come here. So this is the four inches. So I'll be returning that one inch that I took out at the front aspect. I'll be returning it back to the back arm over because this is the back arm over. So I will need to return that one inch back to the back arm over. So this is it. So you can see so this is it so you return that one inch back to the back arm over the reason for this one inch is for our shirt to be balanced at the shoulder that is the reason for this one inch so i don't want my neck to be too wide so i'll come here instead of me coming down you know this is the main shoulder so this is the main shoulder so instead of me coming down here to give it the neck shape at the back no i won't come down so i'll be making use of this so i'll just make use of this one inch this one inch at the top so i'll make use of this one inch for that so i'll make use of this one inch for that this one inch this same one inch that i'll add for the neck so i won't be cutting it at the main body so i'll be making use of this one inch to cut out the neck you can see so i shape it this way you can see it so and this is the front aspect so now the same shape at the side so the same shape at the side so no need of adding anything to it at the side so now i'll be cutting it out so this is it so i'll cut out the back neck first this is the back neck so this is so and for the front neck i'll be cutting out the front neck also now we need to remove the back aspects you know there is button at the is button down so we are cutting shirts so there is button at the front aspect so at the center front so i'll come here i'll measure half inch downward so you measure half inch downward this way so you measure half inch downward and you cut it out so you can see you measure it downward and you cut it out so so this is it i've cut it out you can see so this is the front aspect of our shirt you place it on it this way 
and use it to cut the neck out. So, and you determine the length that you are using. So, I'll be making use of C's and half. C's and half for the back aspect. So, I'll be making use of C's and half. So, and I'll add half inch to it. Half inch. I'll add half inch to that C's and half, making seven inches. So, I'll be making use of seven inches for the length that I'll be using for the back. The reason for the half inch is for the folding. So, this is it. This is it. This is it. So now to just cut it same shape and then like so I'll be placing it on it. So this for the back aspect. So for the front aspect, I'll be making use of six inches. So I will need to add half inch to it also for the joining. So making this and half. So you place your front aspect on the net this way. So you slit it at the center so this is it so you can just now sheet for you to so that you won't be confused because of this side so you know that this is the shoe that you can just not sheet you can see have not sheet so that I won't be confused so that's all about the body see I fold my fabric. You can see this is it. I will be cutting out the two sleeves together. So this is it. So and the length I'm using is twenty one. So I'm making use of twenty one, and I have twenty two and a half here with me. So this twenty two and a half. So I will be making use of twenty one inch for the main length and one and a half for the folding of the edge of the sleeve. So this is it. So. So I'll be using this side for the curve head. So and the wideness of the so this I have 12 and a half here. You can see this is 12 and a half. So I'll come here. I'll be coming down by one and a half. This is one and a half. So from here I can just create my curve head. You can see. So this is it. So I'll come to the down aspect A. I'll be measuring six and a half. So this is a half with the allowance. I've added the allowance to it. This is it. So from here, so I will shape it. You can see. So you can see. I've shaped it from here to meet this. So you can see. So, this is, so now I will be cutting it out. So you know she did. This is it. Now I'll be cutting the friends on the sleeve. You can see. So I fold my fabric into four. So you can see it. So I fold it into four this way. So this is it. So I'll come here. So um, so I'll come here. Us to cut out our friends, so this is it. So I've draw where I want it to get, so you can see. So, because at the back, the material is not equal, so that's the reason why I need to draw out lines here. So, this line will stand as a guide, you can see. So, this is it. And for us to cut out the friends, so we we'll measure whatever we have here. So divide it by two. So here I have 22 inches here. So 22 inches divided by two that will give me 11 inches. So this is 11. You can see. So I'm here. Here also I have 
22 and half. So I have 22 and half here. So that means I will be making use of 11 and half. So this is 11 and half. So you can see. So this is it. So this is our mid point. So this is our mid point. So we now have four quadrants. One, two, three, four. You can see we have four quadrants. So this is our mid point. From this center point now, I'll measure one and a half inch all around. So one and a half inch all around. So I'll come to this line. You can see this line, this center, this quadrant line. So I'll come here. So I'll measure five inch and make use of five inch for the length. So I'll measure five inch. This is five inches. You can see. So I'll come here also. I'll measure five inches. So I'll come here also. I'll measure five inches. So this is five inches and I'll come here also. I'll measure five inches. You can see. So you come to this, you know this line, this quadrant here, I'll come here. So from here, so I will draw this line to meet this five inches here, this five inches. So you shape it. So you can see, so let me draw the five inches like this. So this is five inches. So I'll draw it this way. You can see. So now I'll measure my five inches all around. If I, it won't be up to five inches here again. So that's the reason why I you can see. So the five inches we measured before, this is the five inches. So, you know, we've already covered from here. So that's the reason for that. So this is where our five inches top. So if we say we should take it along this side, if I should continue, it won't be enough. So you can see this side is not enough. It's not up to five inches. You can see. So this is where our five inches top. You can see. So this is it. So now I'll be cutting it out. So you can see, so this is it. So this is what we cut out at the center, you can see. So this is our friends. So you can see. So I have four pieces of it. So I will need to join it to two. I will be using two, two for each. So you can see, so this is it. Okay. So I have this, I will be using this to pile up the center front of our shirt. So this is three and a half inch. You can see this is it. So I'll be using this to pile up where we'll be putting our button and the button hole. So this for that. So this for that. And that is all about the cutting. I'll be showing you the sewing aspect of it. So this is the back aspect. 
So this is the back aspect. So I need to open it to the front part, as in the right part of the fabric. So you place this net at the back this way, you can see. So and I will place it in on the next side here. Now you lay it very well this way. So I will be folding it in here this way like this. So let me do that. Make sure your hand is straight. Now I'll come here so I'll top stitch on it. This is our back aspect. You can see it. This is the back aspect. So this is the front aspect. We'll make use of scissors and half for the length of the yoke at the upper part that we'll be placing on this. We'll make use of scissors and half for this. So and the main length that we are using is six inches. The half inch is for the folding. So We'll come here, so I'll measure six inches. So this is six inches, so you can see. So I'll measure that six inches. So this is inches. So I will pick one of it. So I'll pick this. You can see. So this is one of it. So I'll pick this like this. So you place it this way, on it this way, like this. So and you follow the lines on that. Ankara to sew it downward. So this is the half inch that we had to it. You can see. So and you place your sewing on it. So you can see. So this is it. So you place it this way, and you place your sewing on it. So you can see so this is it. So same thing applies to the second side. It I'm done with the two side. So now I will come to the down aspect A. I will need to fold this down aspect first. I will fold it with the two inches. So I fold it. This is it. So I will pick this that I will be using for the center front, where we will be placing our button and button hole. So this is it. I have this. So I will come to the back aspect of this from the back aspect. Yeah, from the back aspect. So I will be placing it this way. So I will sew it downward first. So from the back aspect, you can see you place the right side of this to the wrong side of the main body. So this is it. So and you place it this way. So make sure the length is very long. You can see. So I have it SS. So make sure it's very long. So. So when we get here, so we cut it this way, you can see. So make sure the length is equal. So you can see how I fold it in. So I fold it in this way, you can see. I will be folding it this way to the front aspect. Make sure everything is equal. So all this in this way
can see this is it so now i'll be placing sewing on this side yeah this side downward so let me do that So I've double stitched on it, so you can see, so I'm through with it. So this is it. So I've done that to the second side also. So this is the second side. And this is the back aspect. So the back aspect also, I fold it at the down aspect. So I fold the back aspect and I've ironed it. So now I will need to join it at the shoulder. I've joined it at the shoulder. So this is it. So now for the sleeve. So this is the sleeve. So first I will need to fold it at the edges here. At the edges of the sleeve, I will fold it with the inches that we had to hit, as in the one and a half inch. This is the sleeve. I fold it at the edge. This is it. You can see it. I fold it at the edge. I have this organza. I've cut it in size of the friends of the Ankara. So I will be using it to turn the Ankara. So I will be using it to turn the Ankara. So same size with the Ankara, the same way I cut the friends is the same way I cut the same size with it. So now I will need to join it to two. You know, we are using two two of the friends for each sleeve. So I will need to join this together first. So you pick it this way and join it. So I will be placing the organza on the Ankara. I will use it to turn it around. I will sew it all around. So let me do that. I've saw it downward you can see it so and this is where I will be using to turn it to the right side so you can see I left two to three inches here so that I'll be able to turn it to the right side so after turning it to the right side I'll stitch it I'll close this place so you can see it so now what I will do now is this curvy side this upper part here and we need to notch it so so that when we turn it to the right side it will lay very well so that it will lay very well so we need to notch it around at uh, this upper part alone no need of the down aspect at uh, this upper part alone so we need to notch it around so after then i will iron it same thing applies to the second side So this is it. You can see it. So I've turned it with the organza. You can see it. So we'll come to this side that we open. So we stitch this side. You stitch it. So you close it by stitching it. So let me do that. I will be adding the friends to the sleeve now. So this is the friends. So I will be adding it to the sleeve. So this is our, you fold your sleeve into two this way. And this is our center point, you can see. So you use your chalk to chalk it. So this is our center point of our sleeve. So at the right side, you open it. This is the right side of the fabric. So from here, I will be taking 10 and a half downward. So this is 10 and a half so this is it i'll make use of 10 and a half downward you can see so now i'll come to the down aspect here the length of the friends so with the folding and everything so i have three and a half here with me you can see this three and a half so and i will come here so and i want my friends to be a bit longer than the sleeve so to come down a bit so i'll come here i will place my tape this way so i'll be making use of 2.7 so this 2.7 so 
so 2.7 so you can see after 2.7 i'll be making use of two and a half so i'll come up by two and a half from here this two and a half so here also i'll come up by two and a half so this two and a half so you can see so i have two and a half left here so i have two and a half left here so two and a half for the gap so only here that will came down by 2.7 so you can see so this is it so now i will leave two inches at the side here so these two inches two inches at this side here two inches at this side you measure two inches inward from the side so two inches If you can see so you measure two inches in what at the side two inches because the friends did not get to the sewing aspect of the sleeve so it didn't get to the side of the sleeve so yeah you leave two inches at the side so it will not enter the sewing aspect when joining the sleeve together so this is it so now we need to shape our friends so you shape it give it a curve shape so curve it this way let's see curve it this way and at the down aspect here at the down aspect here i will be going inward by three because you know the down aspect so the wrist the measurement you use at your wrist is smaller than the measurement you use at your elbow so i'll be going inward here by three so i'll come to this side also i'll go inward by three so i think i will have eight inches left you see i have eight inches left here so you can see so this is eight inches left so just come this way you just bring this this way so and this this way you can see so now i'll be placing the friends on it so when placing your friends you had a bit gathers to it so for us to place our friends we are going to divide it into four so you divide your friends into four so that the gathers will not be much on one side than the other side so you divide it into four so this is the where i join it you can see this is where i join it so you can just come to this side so this is one friends so yeah is the center of one so you use a chalk to chalk that place so we divide this into two so from this side again so you pick the other other friends pick the second friends this way so you use your chalk to indicate Use a chalk to indicate it. So this is it. So and this day, you see. So we have one, two, three, four. Turn it to this side.
so this is it you can see it so now we have our friends so now we need to join it together you can see so this is it so pick it this way and make use of your hands leave measurements I'll make use of four and a half. That's nine inches, four and a half for the wrist. So you turn it to the front now. You can see. So this is it. So you can see the sleeve. So this is it. So now I will be joining it on the body. See, this is the sleeve. I will be joining it to the body. So you look for the where we notch for the sleeve and place it at the shoulder. The joining at the shoulder here. You can see, place it on head this way. So from this center, you sew it to the front aspect and you sew it to the back aspect. I'm done with the joining of this two sleeve to the body. So this is it. I've joined the two sleeve. So now we'll come to the side here. So I'll be joining it at the side. I'll be joining it at the side here, at the side of the dress with one inch. this is it you can see it so same thing applies to the other side after then i'll be adding the collar to the dress so after adding the collar to the dress i'll be showing you the final look this is the final look of our shirt gown if you find this video helpful kindly give it a thumbs up if you have any question or suggestion you can drop it in the comment section below kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure it turns on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified thanks for watching bye